Wagwan, welcome back to my channel, Fit Spells by Sashel. I am your girl Sashel. I'm still here creating spells and beating faces. If you haven't already, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications so you can be a part of my beauty witches and wizards gang. If you have already, big up at themselves and now with big up at themselves and continue showing me your support. I have upped on to the rainbow train. And guys, I have come up with my look. Um, this look is basically by Mayo Makeup. Is well, not by Mayo Makeup. It's featuring my Mayo Makeup stacks. I'm gonna show you right here. Yes, and that is all I do is for the eye color, the liner, everything is Mayo Makeup. So if this look tickles your wand, then stay tuned. stack of Mayo makeup neon colors Let here they are it's a stack of 10 and I'm hopping on the rainbow trend and this is the look I done one eye already because I wasn't sure what is what I was gonna do so I just did one eye to see how it turned out I know I'm gonna film the next eye I want to do a I want to do a complete talk through video if my environment allows but if not if it turns into a voiceover please bear with me so yeah let's go we're gonna start with the eyebrows as you see, can see the eyebrows at this side were also done so I'm gonna do this what I want to point out is that I kinda did an elevated brows and I think this is best for these type of looks because when you kind of elevate the brows, you can kind of get more lid space. So persons who have a lot of lid space, this is not necessarily um, needed. But for a person like me, we don't have a lot of lid space. So we have to kind of create that space. So what I did, I kind of lifted the brows by going as close to my under eye, my under eyebrows. And then at the top, I kind of lift it like that. So it creates the lifting effect. You will see what I'm doing because I'm going to do the brows on camera. So, so guys, I'm going to see how best I can show you the brows because, guys, these brows kill me. So, guys, I'm just using a spoolie. Get the brow hairs together. And I'm going to line as close to the bottom of my eyebrows as possible. So, you can want to hold the face like this. And you want to go as close in the same shape to the under eyes. So. And that's, that's all we do for the under eyes. For the top, we're going to line it just in the normal shape of your eyebrows. But like, what you're going to do is you're going to create a lifting effect towards the arch that is right here. So you're going to lift the boat right there. So just follow what I'm doing. So I kind of start a little away from the front part of the brows because you want that ease the transition. You don't want any sharp brows. You want that a kind of an transition. So you start from here and you go like that. Notice how I'm kind of lifting and then I go down. Very steep towards the ends. And I kind of meet up back with that line that I created down there. So what you can see is that the arch here is lifted, creating some height in the brows. Okay, so I'm going to do now, I'm going to just fill the eyebrows in. So When I fill the eyebrows in, guys, I apologize for any sound that you're in background. My environment is kind of said no one have a lot of noise going on so I do apologize but I kind of want to talk through this because I haven't done a talk through in a long time so just bear with me so I filled in the brows and I normally fill into the ends if you have thick brows like myself then you don't have to um, do much filling in but if your brows are fairly thick you might want to start from here so because my brows are fairly thick then I'm filling in towards the ends and then what I do I use a 
coolly to kind of pull the, per the, the, the um, eyeliner towards the inner part because naturally your eyebrows grow like that it's sparser towards the beginning so you want to kind of when you're doing makeup you want to kind of accentuate what is already existing basically so so you blend that out and then you're gonna go and highlight the brows and of course I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use my LA Girl Pro Concealing Cool Tan for the top half because this is almost like my perfect shade closest to my perfect shade but then I'm gonna go in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm going to do the under eye because this is a lighter and then we want to create this as an eyeshadow base so yeah please alright guys I can't find my my eyebrow the normal brush that I use for my eyebrow so I'm kind of using this one that I normally use for cut crease and this is kind of a challenge for me because I normally just use my eyebrow brush I don't normally use any other brush so it's kind of impacting on my progress but it is what it is just get an angled brush that can work so what I do, I normally, I'm not going to start from the end again as usual, I'm kind of using the size of this brush. I'm just going to pull. In the shape that was already created. So I'm just pulling like this. The concealer highlights the brow and kind of correct any mistakes but also it creates it makes the brow stand out basically so that's what the concealer does so all I'm doing now I'm blending downwards and pulling that concealer away from the brow so we can blend it properly so you can see that. So when you finish blending down, it will look something like this. Uh, you normally would see me fully blend this out, but because I want to use this as the kind of a base for my eyeshadows, I'm not going to fully blend it out. So I'm just kind of pulling it down. And that is where the rainbow eyeshadow will kind of sit. So I'm going to go above on the top right now with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. Okay, so starting away from the brows and I am... Um going in one steady stroke even if you have to go back you want to start back from the beginning and then you one stroke across so like that and then i'm going steeply and i'm gonna go down see the elevation in the brows and that basically make it look like you have more lid space and kind of lift the brows and make the face look more like you got a face lift <laughs> babe what is it okay okay guys i have blended all the top of the brows yes yes and now i'm going to go in i'm gonna apply my colors and also i'm going with this angled brush this small angled brush and i'm going in with the first color which is neoni go into the very center so I'm applying it right there and when you're using loose powder you want to press the powder in because pressing the powder allow the powder to stick I'm now going in with the orange in the orange in the stack and when I'm applying I'm going in with the same shape of the of the um the brow so you can see I take up like a about a centimeter or less of space like in terms of width so and I'm kind of overlapping the colors like so now on to our favorite color pink and we're gonna go beyond that orange kind of overlapping and then we're gonna just place it so we're just putting that in kind of eye the other eye so you can know exactly that everything is kind of mirroring each other then we're gonna go in with the blue I notice I'm kind of going lower with this one because that's how the eyebrow is so towards the end the eyebrow kind of slope down so that's exactly why I'm applying the product so so yeah the blue is so pretty it just blends in just effortlessly my god look at that 
no patches something about this blue color here that just sits well with my spirit that. And because we're sloping down you kind of want to bring this part lower because that's exactly when we're cutting the crease you're gonna have that swoop also so you kind of want to bring the color so when you dip low you still have product there sitting it's all about the art guys So I'm just going to kind of eyeball the other one to see. And I am kind of going to go over that one a little more because I realized that the blue came down a bit too much. So I'm going to leave enough space for the purple towards the end because we're going to cut out a bit of the purple so we want to ensure that we have enough. So lastly and not least we're going to go in with the purple and then we're finished with our little rainbow there guys for some reason this purple doesn't come off very neon to me because I'm seeing a little shimmer in it but I'm not mad at the shimmer at all I am definitely not mad at the shimmer guys everything looks better with glitter anyway so I'm not mad I'm not mad all right so I'm just kind of just going down towards the end with this purple I'm bringing it all the way down, all the way down because I want to ensure that I have enough product so when I cut out piece of it, we still have purple left. Look, oh, guys, look at my rainbow. Talk truth. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, guys. And my rainbow is complete. Now to cut the crease. Today I'm also featuring my new product. It's the P. Louise. It's called the P. Louise base and this is in Rumor Zero. It's a white. It's the whitest base they have and it's an eyeshadow base. And I was dying to use this guys because I just wanted that very white and flat color and I got it. So I'm featuring it this in, in, in this um, look and I'm now going to use this to cut the crease. Okay guys, so I'm now cutting the crease. See how wide that is? I, I kind of get nervous when I'm cutting the crease. So I'm going to just kind of just swoop. Hope you can see. And then I'm going to try to make it look the same way. If you can get it. Because guys, the struggle is real, man. Alright, that's not too bad. Cutting the crease can be a challenge, guys, but you take your time. So, guys, I kind of got what I wanted. So, I kind of sewed this up. And then I kind of came down right there. Okay, and you have to work with this really fast because... I have a problem with get with my eyeshadow creasing so what I'm now going to do I am going to fill in with that single monotone that monotone color and I'm just gonna go in with that very bright green not the one that looks yellow but the other green that is in the stack so I'm just gonna put that into the crease but I'm not going directly up into the the rainbow colors I'm just gonna go a little bit below so you kind of create that white kind of film right there okay So you see that guys, you kind of create the outline for the eyes and then you fill it in. So all I do is now just press the color in. Okay guys, we are making progress. We can just kind of work the magic here. So in order to create this little pink wing that we have going on here, you basically have to kind of get rid of the color that is sitting right um, in the space. So what I do, I use a Q-tip and a little bit of alcohol on it and then I kind of just erase it into the shape that I want it to be so I can create that pink 
little wings liner how i do my wings liner so i'm just erasing it into the same shape so i'm gonna just go like that and look how easy that comes off no hassle whatsoever so so you might want to look down yeah oh wow oh, 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 oh. all right guys so outline as usual so Alright guys, lashes have been applied and that is the look and this is our take on our rainbow look guys and I'm just going to do the face and I'm going to rush through this process because you guys know the gist so I'm just going to use, today I'm just going to feature a black opal so I'm going to use one that's closest to my shade and then the darker shade for contour, okay? And black opal is so good but the thing that i have with it it comes out very oily and that's what i can't manage at all with black mm -hmm. opal they look all like this the way we saw Is, yeah the finished look is here I just went in I did the lips I finished up the face um I did the lips with just a uh, kind of pinky nudie color and then I kind of went under the under eye and I did with that very lime yellowish green and then mascara and yeah yeah guys check it out and guys look let me know guys if you want to see my hair journey here really because remember guys this is not only a makeup channel this is a lifestyle channel this is a growth channel so i am thinking of doing some hair hair um videos and i'm gonna let you know how i grow my hair for example things that I use so I want to use my favorite products things that I use and all of that jazz so if you want to know more about that then comment down below and tell me to drop the hair videos all right guys I forgot to say Ta -da!